Uh, so recently in the news, uh, the Mississippi House has approved the use of a firing squad as a uh, new form of execution that they want well, to bring new? back. New? I mean, if you can't bring back something new, they're bringing back something old. That's true. But I personally think that firing squad is not the best way for execution. I mean, it's cheaper. Uh, ra- raises their KD. Let's, Let's share, share our dumb, dumb opinions. opinions. Oh shit! Was that the cue? Fuck. Yeah, the the main reason. Oh yeah, it is really cheap, isn't it? The main yeah, well, it's like what twenty cents. It, I don't see anything wrong with it. It should. It's fine. In my it's, it's probably the most it's, efficient way for the death penalty. If you don't want to die from the death penalty, then don't break the well, laws. Well, well, you're innocent. There were there. Are, don't forget Missouri. What was it Missouri or Mississippi? Mississippi. Mississippi. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll call it Kentucky. No, I'm just kidding. Mississippi, it's a very, very conservative. I'm not going to say it's necessarily a, a bad state. It's just there is a lot of racism. Don't What's forget, the poverty line there? The poverty line there, I'm pretty sure it's like once you marry your cousin. <laughs> no, is, is that a poor state? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, hella. Uh, pretty, I'm not necessarily... I it matters say, what you compare it to. Compare, okay, it's, it's, most it's of Central not, America is poor compared to coastlines. You used to say it's Central America? Mississippi? No, Mississippi is not central, but I'm saying. But what, oh, I apologize. Like in the, the more central you go. The, the, the yeah, more. the continental, like, when you're inside the middle, the more and more middle, the more and more yeah. poor. Yeah, but, I don't know, I, I think it's I think Or it's at least fine. rule. There you go. One, I, one of the, um... Most about. One of the attorneys working there also brought up the use of the electric chair and nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is not seeming like a good way to die since you're literally suffocating. Well, we're not talking about good. We're talking about what can you know, save cheaper. the money, if you know what I'm I, okay. I think firing squad is the most efficient. And Are we arguing about whether or not we should have the death penalty or whether or not we should use a firing I squad? I don't think there should be a death penalty. Okay. Okay. I, think, I think there should be a death penalty. I'm against I, I, death penalty. I think it should just be a headshot for the firing squad. This, this yeah, yeah. So a headshot. Oh, oh, okay, that would suck no, if you shot I, him I'm going to shoot heart. you in the knees. Oh my god, that would, arms, okay, you know. that would be horrible. The, okay, we're, what are we di- discussing? Are we discussing point. whether or not the death penalty is dank, or whether or not this form that, of execution is dank? Well, we're what? talking about this. Yeah, okay. do so I agree we, with the uh, the new form of execution, not on whether or not we, the execution is dank? Like, we're not okay. saying. Okay, oh, what I do you think about firing squad as a form of execution? I okay, I have a bias because I don't like I don't like any form of execution. But I mean, if you're gonna execute people anyway. Where my opinion doesn't matter, I yeah. say firing squad just because it's cheaper. Yeah, it's faster. I agree. No yeah. suffering, headshot, bam, peak miss. Exactly. Yeah, th- there's actually been a lot of backlash about this. A lot of people are saying it's barbaric. It is bar. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say barbaric. It's cheap and it's fast. It's okay, and like I mean, I if mean, you're barbarians gonna kill- didn't have guns. I mean, compared to lethal injection, it's a lot more barbaric. Uh, but lethal that's so much injection. More expense, expense. Uh, injection. I mean, technically like there's pain, but the pain is a millisecond. Okay, I, I see. Like, I'm I'm against execution. Yeah, I'm not pro execution. But if you are still going to execute people, you may as well do it in the cheapest, most humane possible, yeah. humane way possible. Yeah. So in electric chair, there's the anticipation where you put the sponge, you wet the sponge, you put it, put the rubber in your mouth, and then you're literally electrocuted to death, and it still hurts. Yeah, that's much lethal worse. Lethal injection, you still feel the lethal go in, and you still feel the, you literally feel it being released into your blood. Well, not every time, because every- they numb you down. No, it's cause it's one of the they put I think like three or four chemicals. Mm-hmm. I've got what they're called, but it's three or four tubes, and they're all emptied into you. One numbs you, the other one stops your heartbeat, the other one knocks you out. Or I think it knocks you out, then stops. Your Honestly, heartbeat. just a sh- uh, it's a, a gunshot to the head. It's cheaper. All it is is you have to clean up the aftermath. And, and but right that's now, it. right now the the uh, if the people who are on death row is actually extremely backed up because we only do it in certain ways and. If we actually did a firing squad, it could speed up the process a lot. lot. I mean, uh, it's actually Again, an like, extremely but good I, idea. I'm pretty sure we keep it slow because they, the people who are under, like, the death row inmates, I'm pretty sure they have the right to go as slow as possible so they can possibly fight the execution. Yeah, it, yeah. it's purposely so slowed down. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying, like, it being slow is a good or bad thing. I'm just saying I believe if a person wants to form the, like, Put the files and delay their execution as much as possible. Let it be slow, you know. I, I mean, uh, the death penalty as well. Uh, a lot, a lot of reason why a lot of people are against it is because there's a lot of innocent people. Well, what's the like, What's you, the percentage? There's a good amount of innocent like what? Four percent? Are Are you against death death penalty? Yeah. In, in general. Yeah. Why? Are you against death why? Because of the amount of innocent people that be, that become surface to be innocent. innocent until proven I don't guilty, like, though. Well, yeah. If they're proven guilty. Just but a lot of the people who were proven guilty actually turned out to be innocent. There was a boy, and I believe, so, uh, there was a, I apologize for interrupting you, but there was a case a long, long time ago, this uh, small, a uh, black kid. He was executed 
he was hella young. Okay, he was executed and he was he was convicted. He was convicted a bad guy yeah. and he was executed. Mind you, he was so small that they actually had to use books to hold him up so he could be executed on the electric stand, the electrocution, the electric chair. Just because you're convicted doesn't necessarily mean you're wrong. Also, the crime necessarily, like in right now in Saudi Arabia, you can be executed for being gay. But does it mean it's right? I wouldn't necessarily just because it's like it's like illegal, it's but, bad. But even but, but like like just because Ameri you're convicted doesn't mean you're bad. In guy America, the amount of people that are convicted on death row, like put on death row, there was someone just released a yeah, death row. but. That Not a big salt. portion of them are in innocent. There's more bad. Along than with there innocent. will always be human error. No matter what, there's people who are in jail right now I'm not for saying life that, I'm sentences. Not, I'm not, that's I think is even worse than death row. If you're a life sentence inside of jail, but it's just human error. No matter what, people are gonna be proven quote unquote guilty, but won't be guilty. No matter what, it's just human error. But if it was like one dude every like five years or something, then it would be like, all right, well that's just human error. But it's like it's, a good. It's. I mean, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not it's even. Human error, it's just, it's it's pretty large. What's the, what's the failure rate? Uh, uh, well, what's uh what's the conviction that's a false? Pretty conviction? sure it's close to ten percent. Can we Google it real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, guys, keep talking. I'll Google it. Okay. Right now, I'm I'm always gonna be against death penalty simply because I believe in re rehabilitation. I don't believe in rehabilitation. I believe in rehabilitation, but not necessarily only punishment. Where you go to jail so you can understand why you're wrong, and then you can fix why you're wrong. So, like in Sweden, I, I'm, I'm uh, obviously I'm left leaning, but le like Sweden, they have a dank ass fucking like program where you go to jail. Okay, basically it's so effective. Cause I don't feel like talking for an hour. They're so effective they actually have to close down jails because they're always empty. That's how effective they are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Denmark closed down jails. Like Scandinavian, I mean, again, I, I kind of have a hard on for Scandinavia, the, like the region, but like <laughs> they have it right where it's rehabilitation, not punishment. It, but it's, in America, it's a four percent, by the way, guys. Yeah, four percent uh, false 4%, rate. Yeah, that's, I think that's that's more than uh, that's more than good. Yeah, I think that's that's a reasonable amount for human error. But how many people get executed in America? Like I think like that, 16. That, you mean that are on death row? Like yeah, it, how many people are on death row right now? And Saudi then Arabia large, executes a very more large amount us. because it's so slow. And I know that's it's why, a, that's why it's really good. I think to it's like change it to less you. than one a week or some shit. Like once in a once every one week and a half, I think. I, you can Google it. You Google that as well. But even if it's even if it's like let's say a hundred people are on death row right now, five of them are. If five of them are innocent, that's too many. Eh, it's it sucks, but it's there's human error. Uh, there's been 8,000 since the 1970s, and that's when that's, that's so the there's same been amount. hundreds of innocent people. How, what is four percent of 8,000? Four percent of 8,000. Please 000? <laughs> keep, keep doing things okay, on your phone. Okay, I'll, I'll keep being the information guy. What's if four percent of if it's over 100, so, it's too many. So 40 is 1,000, so 8,000 is what 320. Four? You're yeah. telling me that 320 people since the 1970s, okay. So 320 th people from the 1970s, 320 innocent people. So, you, you, so you're saying you rather. Okay, yeah, like I said, this human error, fine. But you'd rather have the other people being supported it, but it's, it's and rehabilitated. Not always, it's not always human error. Because but you, and you do know not everyone can be rehabilitated. I don't believe in that. I do believe that. I believe, Come on. I believe to the core that rehabilitation is always possible if they are mentally competent. Is, oh, so if I, they're I'm, insane, then obviously I'm not it. bringing in the insane. I'm if, not if cheating they, If they put their hand out and, they, and that hand, they see it as not their hand, they, are, they cannot be fixed. But if you put your hand out and you say, this is my hand, then you can be fixed. Angel. Laz's thing that he brought up about um, that most of it's human error, some of it actually isn't because there could be people on death row or falsely that convicted. are so hated that people don't want to have to work towards finding out if he could be innocent or not because they don't want to have to bother like, oh, fuck that well, guy. Uh, of course, there's a, that statistic, but m the majority of them are always going to be human error. But we're talking about 320 people. Since 1970. Still. That's a really long time. That's over 40 Vending years. Vending machines kill more people. Yeah. Cars <laughs> kills so many more people. But, I mean, Are we going to outlaw cars? Yeah, no, exactly. We're, no, we're, we're, not, we're not saying about outlawing execution. We're not arguing that. We, bo we both don't like execution, but we can't do anything about it. But I'm also, just, I'm also agreeing with Mikey's point that a lot of them could probably be rehabilitated as well. Like you do so it's the combination of this if, innocent. If, it, if you've shot up a school, I believe you should be put on death row. Same. Well, a mentally competent person doesn't shoot up a school. An insane person does that. So yeah, I agree with you on that. But you shouldn't be killed. You should just. What if your girlfriend 
cheated on you with every single guy at the school, and then you go, you don't go crazy. I'd hide you go five. To the school and I'd hide like, five those motherfuckers. I mean, if she wants to cheat on me, we're breaking up you, the second I find just, out. Just because you shoot up a school doesn't mean you're. Okay, you're a crime insane. of passion is completely different than mass murder. A crime of passion where you would be justified. Let, let's say you're my you're my boyfriend. We're dating. You and me yeah. are dating. Let's say you cheat on me with Kyle. If I were to murder Kyle, that would be a crime of passion. Where mm. most crimes are crimes of but passion. My but a mass murderer is almost. I have never heard of a mass murder where it is a crime of passion, not under war. My okay, my defense to that would mm -hmm. be: look, if you're saying they can be rehabilitated and everything, right? You're talking about the people who uh, aren't mentally competent, the people person. who aren't insane and stuff like that. Fine, mm -hmm. they should know what the death penalty is. They should know what the penalty is for what they're about to do. It's completely their fault, and they're they're the ones walking into that situation. So, if you okay, fine. You don't want to die from death penalty, then don't break the law. But if you're gonna break the law, then then face up to what what's the consequence? That's a good. That's a good, I, that's a good of, point. And, and as of right now, that's the consequence. It's fine. But that's what it is right now. And and they're not insane. That's what they're gonna walk into. Then that's what that's what they're no, gonna. You, do. That's a it's that's a good that's a good yeah. counterpoint. I'm not saying it's a bad counterpoint. That's. But may I counter that as well? Go ahead. I do not believe the government should be able to justify when or not it's allowed for a human to continue living. I believe once a government justifies the murder of a person, just because actually it's not a murder, the legal killing of a person. Basically, if a government can tell you, I, I'm allowed to kill this person, I think that's too far. I do not believe the government should be able to tell you, you should die, you should die because of your crime. That's well, of that's, course there is, that's, that's understandable. That's, the, that's the biggest reason. But that's I'm why it. they label it. They will only uh, they will only do this if you do a specific thing. And as of right that's now, and true. as of right now, you it's, can not, argue for it's not crossing the board. It's uh, not uh, crossing can the I just interview real quick? Yeah. There is always still a judge who makes sure that they are completely mm -hmm. deserving. A of judge this. can be biased, you know that, of right? Of course, but I'm saying there is the judges a middleman. It's not completely the government. And no, I know. And another thing, well, the judge works for the if government. If you don't give, if you don't give, yeah, but there's a second opinion. Someone needs to hold that power. That power needs to be held somewhere. I believe a human life is worth more than okay. the, you know a but, white guy. A but white but guy that power, the power to keep chaos from happening, it needs to be held somewhere. So you think that what's that separates us from chaos is the government killing people? I didn't say that. No, I you said there needs to be someone to hold on to that the, thing. To, to the power, chaos. yes. But you, so you're saying if the government doesn't kill people who commit atrocities, there will be chaos. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I want you to to, to, a, to a certain point, yes. So you're saying that the average person, if they are not in fear of death, like the only reason me, Michael Brum, does not murder people is because I'm afraid of dying. Are you saying that? Well, there's there's always just morals that every human has exactly it, most like murders right most wrong. murders are crimes of passion where they don't care that they're gonna die but mass murder like there different. was a guy oh exactly mass murdering is completely different from a crime of passion which is okay. normally murder but like there's a man where a, a person broke into his daughter's room this is actually a recent thing by the way where he and the i think he and his brother or some shit they beat the guy to death that was a, that wasn't necessarily oh, well he's actually being tried right now for murder because it's weird, but that was a crime of passion where the guy beat the intruder to death. So he's being tried right now for murdering someone. As of now, a